glory to God. It is now time for the word. Sit back, relax, and let's hear what God has to say. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Galatians chapter 3. Reading was 13, 14, and was 29. It's a Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hang it on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the spiritual faith. Now verse 29, and if you be Christ, if ye be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Amen? Amen. Are you heirs of the seed? Yes. Amen. Amen. You're heirs. Amen. Of the promise. Oh, oh! Before I start, um, the Israelites, them, the the, the ones that will call themselves Israelite, um, um, the gentleman, he was telling me um, about baptism, and he was saying that you need to be when you get baptized. You gotta watch out for ancest what the word is ancestry. Your ancestor, right, you know, because um it could be curses, you know? And so now when I when I go in the water to become um to get baptized, he was telling me, um <laughs> I just get off of these brothers that say he um say I only um dealt with my sins, <laughs> but I didn't dealt with, you know. So I was telling him, I said, but I don't know those people, Lam. I don't know some of my ancestors, you know? So I said, but I know, I had to stop him in the track. I said, but I, I know what this is. I say, this works. Yeah. Yeah. I said, according to Galatians, I, I mean, and it just so happened that we deal with it, with the scripture. I say, but Christ redeemed me from the curse of the law, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I say, if he redeemed me, then if I have to go start doing other stuff, for my ancestors, right? That man and I taken Jesus' place. I mean, what Jesus did on the cross wasn't really nothing. Hey, 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 hey. And the brothers are high priests. Well, anyway, hey. listen, young. Remember, we're still talking about keys for this year. Right. Keys what we need to achieve for um, this year of fruitfulness and victory. Amen? Amen. And um, the other key, the third key, and I'm going to start with this, is faithfulness and diligence. Amen? So we know that like, the first one was um, you have to increase your thinking. Amen. And the next one is um, truth and obedience. Now this one is faithfulness and diligence. Amen? And if you have your Bible, which you should have, turn with me to Proverbs 28. And verse 20. Proverbs 28, 20 say, I'm reading this from the New King James Version, a faithful man will abound. With what? Blessing. Blessing. Yes, sir. But he who hasten to be rich will not go unpunished. A faithful man, yeah. if you're faithful, yeah. will abound with blessing. Yes, sir. Now let's look up that word faithful. Amen? Mm -hmm. Faithful is Honest, listen to this word, truthful, good, trustworthy. That's a faithful person. That person is trustworthy. Listen to this one, reliable. Yeah. A faithful person is reliable. Now, <laughs> on my job when I was a salesman, I had this gentleman who used to work with me. And... Lexi, to be honest with you, when it come down to the work, the labor now, he gave me but 50%, sometimes 40%. Now, I had other people who could give me 100%, but they wasn't reliable like him. What made him reliable though, I mean, is, is <laughs> he always the work. <laughs> he don't miss days. So to me, he was more reliable than the one who could give me 100% and miss a day every week, miss a day. So I could call him faithful. 
because he's faithful in coming to work. Yeah. He could give me 50%, so if I could do the next 50%, that we make, make 100, eh? So, and I was thinking, and I say, how much else reliable? If so much reliable to our boss, but if we're reliable, if they could trust us, if we trustworthy or if we're faithful, you know? I remember, um, 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 I remember when, when um, JC said my, I was in the 15 years now, you know? I was in the 15 years. I, I just come a little late, you know? It started in April, I came in April. Probably two or three weeks later, but I came. And I remember, I got um, I got the love the I, I I got the love the um the church so much, church preaching wide here, and and um, Bishop let me handle the the sound system. Never forget it, handle the sound system, you know. And sometimes when you handle the sound system and all of that, and you you, you got word, you still as um, you could fall back sometime, because now I was responsible for opening up the church. And then if the pastor come in before you now, nah, you know, you ain't faithful. <laughs> Is you trustworthy? Now nah, I'm a step on your account. That's why you're talking about me, yeah. Right, Amen. Ahead. You're talking about me, yeah. You know, faithful. Yeah, yeah, you know. Some must be faithful on our job, but now are we faithful in the wake of the Lord? See, then subject like these, they, they kind of just touchy, you know? Yeah. But then yeah. since I get dealt with, why not? <laughs> Amen? <laughs> since I get dealt with, why not? See, because be faithful for the man. Right. Be faithful for him. Be, be, become early um, 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 at work. Um, I know this, 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 um, this um, I'm one of the ladies there. She always to work. Sometimes she early. One time, she come two minutes late, Pastor Jen, two minutes late. She end up getting right up. <laughs> so that made it now, those earliness didn't count. Oh boy. And she signed a warning letter and said, this normally don't happen. She, that's, what, that, that's what she wrote. So, but anyway, back to her job and now back to, to, to church. We come when we want to come. We find excuses. So, could this person be faithful? Could we rely on him? Is he trustworthy? Amen? Is he trustworthy? And then, back to... When I was the JC, when, when I first came to JCCMI, now I didn't know nothing but um, I was so faithful on the man job tell, I don't even know what it means to, um, 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 when you having um, your birthday on your birthday, I used to always be the way. Uh, 13 years ago, you know, 15 years ago, now you know that stuff, right? Yeah, after they come here, I start celebrating my birthday. They start celebrating birthday, so I start celebrating my birthday. <laughs> And um, so every time um vacation, my vacation always fall in April. When is my birthday? Because there's something I celebrate. I learned that in here. Amen? But are we faithful? Are we faithful? Are we trustworthy? Listen to this. Proverbs 11, 13. It says, yeah, a tail bearer Reveal secret. But he who is faithful, he who of a faithful spirit conceal the matter. Listen to this translation. A person who gossip can't keep secret. Well, we know that, eh? A person who gossip can't keep secret. But a trustworthy person can keep a secret. My company is like um, so. Soap opera, you know, everyone got secrets. If they was recording that, we would have been the highest rated. Um, yeah, yeah, we, we would have. Yeah, television show. And everybody against everybody. 
And then here it is, I alone said to my desk, only one person um, under me, but everyone that's come to me, gravitate to me and just talk stuff. Tell me all of these secrets now, so now I gotta be the faithful one to keep these secrets, but then I don't even want to hear your secret. <laughs> I don't want your input, I don't want nothing. But they come anyway. So I can't be a tail bearer, because if it's a tail bearer, a gossiper can't keep, I, I ain't faithful. That's true. I ain't trustworthy. No. And Pastor Jen used um, 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 that on another scripture. That word loyal, I wanted to put that there afterwards. Listen to this one. This Proverbs 14, 5. A faithful witness does not lie. A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness with other lies. When someone heard our feeling, when someone heard our feeling, yeah, Proverbs 14, 5. When someone heard our feelings, and I need this to ease because I hurt. Yeah, this hurt now. They talk about me, so now this is so now I gotta let this out. So me and Brother Clark, um, Minister Lisa hurt my feelings. So now Brother Clark, you know what Lisa did? You know what Minister Lisa did? <laughs> That's what we do. I I just I, I hurt you now. My ego being messed with. It being hijacked. So now I need, um, I, I need this stuff, you know? It's this, you know, good feeling. So now what we do is, we can talk now. We can gossip, we can tell tale yeah. on the person who hurt my feeling and now watch it now. So now when I go to you, I go into somebody else and I go into somebody else. You know, I watch this, I watch this. this, this, this I watch this, um, this gentleman, on the job, this gentleman, he found a purse. And what he did was, he carried it in, in, in a department. And it so happened that the lady was there who purse it was. And when she checked her purse, money was missing. So she, she, blamed, she blamed the person. So what the gentleman did was, he went to the manager and asked the manager if he could just roll the camera. So, you know? and um. And when she rolled the camera, it wasn't him. But the same lady who, um, who, who the money got taken, she already tell all the cash is them, because this was in the food store. Yeah. All of them how this person take her money. Boy, I never apologize back Boy, to that person because it wasn't him. Never apologize. I never tell all the rest of the ladies them on the front end say, um, oh no, he didn't do it. No, never went back. No. It's amazing how an apology could stop wars. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. They don't look at him different now. And we'll be the first set to find fault, blame someone. That's what we do. We, 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 um, well, if he ain't dressed right, you know, we done, um, we done, um, profile the person. Yeah. We already profile the person. A true witness never lies. A false witness make a business of it. That's um, the same um, Proverbs 14, 5. Listen to that again. This is um, the message translation. A true witness never lies. A false witness make a business out of it. Get money for it and all. Hmm. Listen to this one. Remember we was on Proverbs um, 28, 20? This is the message trans translation of, I'll read on Proverbs 28, 20 again. A faithful man will abound with blessing, but he who hasten to be rich will not go unpunished. The message say, committed and, uh, uh, committed and persistent work pays off. Get rich quick scheme, a rip off. I message translation. <laughs> the message translation. Committed and persistent work pays off. Get rich quick scheme, I'll rip off. 
they put you in here. They, they, when I first came to Jesus Christ Center, like I said, I started in the, in the song room. I got right to work. So I was afraid of work. But, 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 but I get right to work, you know? Now, when I tell Bishop, uh, me fire me from the song, the Bobby said, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he moved me. <laughs> now you know <laughs> but then but I still work amen yeah. we come here and we just sit down and just relax but work need to be done yeah. amen work need to be done amen. we ain't gonna let no COVID just disrupt us and so forth and all of that we get and we won't work man amen and listen here I'm a fellow I wouldn't mind being behind the scenes if I got a um, sweep or whatever, clean, I do that. Amen. I do that. I know some people don't even ask, like, boy, in your cleaner, but they don't even ask who even who's the cleaners. <laughs> That's another story. Amen? Amen? We still on Proverbs. Listen to this, the, the living translation. The man who wants to do right will get a rich reward. The man who wants to do right will get a rich reward. But the man who wants to get rich quick will quickly fail. Quickly fail. Just won't get rich. Just won't get rich. Listen to this one. As the gent said this one. Yeah. God bless his loyal people. A faithful person is a loyal person. When we can become loyal. When Pastor Randy do what? Whatever. Majority of us be loyal on our job. On our job. And I remember when the pulpit was turned the opposite way, but I, and, 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 and the Spirit just revealed to me um, they can always be loyal on the job because they're getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> they get the salary. Yeah. And then they love their job, but they get paid. Mm -hmm. Now, if we start just giving out money to all members, them in here will be loaded, fully loaded. Yeah, some of them. Oh, you may remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they come to collect a salary. <laughs> Listen to this. God blesses loyal people, but punish all who wants to get rich quick. Yes, one get rich. Let's go at diligent now. Diligent is having or showing care. In one's work or duty. That's a diligent person. Having or showing care. Boy, I remember when Bishop revealed that word care. In one's work or duty. Bishop asked the question, I'll never forget that. What is love? What is love? I know, unless we was um, saying this and go on, and you know, some of us won't get spiritual. God is love and all of that. You know, but he said, love is when you care. And then, Pastor Dan, I heard someone on television, and I hear someone telling another minister, I don't care what they think. See, then that person, I mean, walking in love. <laughs> but diligent is having or showing care in one work or duty. Diligent, right? Mm -hmm. Proverbs 10, 4. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Wow. Powerful stuff. But you have to be diligent. You have to show that you care. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's what diligent When I was a salesman, Pastor Valley was diligent. I was so diligent. Let me tell you how diligent I was. If you all was to go with me away, this Florida, um, I used to put up, um, I used to sell Little Debbie pies, snacks. And every time I go into a food store like uh, Walmart, 
I go check my pie section. Right. And when I go there, if it's some stuff missing, I have to place it. I have to fix it in order. I don't want to do this. But it's just something in me. It's just that that ain't right. Yeah. I know. I said, look at my section. Let's look at my section. Yeah. Oh, that's what I asked. Well, anyway. And <laughs> yeah, 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 Adrian Mo. Yeah, and I just say, no man, this um we gotta fix this right. Sometime I wish, I only wish I could have taken on everybody's job. I wish I had a lot of arms. I tell the person, you know what? Because the guy who used to help me, I never did like how he, he fixed it. But then he, he have to help me. Yeah, yeah but yeah. sometimes it just that, you know? And listen, I don't do this for pride or not. I don't do it for that, for sure or nothing. When I start working, work to me is like this. God first. The customer second. And where I work, that business, that third. That's how I operate. And I was ever like that. I love working. So I love to be diligent about when I'm doing something. Because that's really all I know. Yeah, because I care. So, so, and that's just what it is, you know. That's just what it is. And I can't do all the Walmart like that. So I wish I could do all like that. But I can't do all like that. But then that's just what diligent is. So, I used to tease him. I used to tease my son. I used to tease my son. And I would say, when he first started waking, and I see him lay right off. Lay off in the bed. I say, nah, buddy. Nah, you know what boy is now. Wait, 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 lay off. You go wholesale. You don't tell us and everything. Well, lay off. I say, right. I say, yeah, daddy was doing this for over 30 years. <laughs> nah, you know what boy is. <laughs> but be diligent in the things for the mind now. But I'll be diligent in the things for God. And, and, and this is just how you, 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 um, you, you, you test yourself. I think that's the best way to say it. You, you, you examine yourself. You know, yeah, you, you just examine yourself, you know. Um, and we have to hit these areas because you see it. You know, we have to hit these areas. Um, on my job, I know what it means to be early. I don't know what it means to be late. And if I do be late, I would call. I would call. Amen. Thanks. Sister. I would call. Oh, let's just do that. Now, I know we do it to the church, but we do that. We call. Amen? So, I got a warning letter once. Just look at remember this. I've been working for this company over 20 something years. I've been working for this company over 20, and I got a warning letter. And that warning letter, Minister Lisa, I sign it for signing sake, but the gentleman who, who um, my supervisor who did that, he know he wasn't fair. But I just signed it for signing, you know? Yeah. And lo and behold, he even ain't there no more. Yeah. But I'm just saying. But he know I's a diligent person. He know I always on time. He know that you don't have to tell me, well, your work was like this or, you know, I don't do shabby work. Yeah. I don't. Now that just was something embedded in me now. If it's not embedded in you, then you get it embedded in you. Yeah. I'm going to be the best at what I do. Yeah. And that's all what it is. Diligence is me just being, just do it, and do it to the best of your ability. Yes, that's all. Amen, amen. Man, and, uh, boy, I was mad with that warning letter. I wish I could find that and burn that up somewhere, but then <laughs> give me a warning letter? <laughs> they don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Always on time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it's talking here about a slack hand. I'd say you could become poor, so somebody who just loves spending, spending, spending. That's a person who don't care. Just, just spending, spending, spending. But the diligent person. 
Meaning that it can pay off. Yes, sir. It will pay off. But I've been doing this for so long. I've been serving God for so long. But, but still do it. You don't stop. There's no time to stop now. I'm doing it for 20 something years. Then do it for 20, 20 more years. But you can get rewarded. Amen. If you're faithful, you can get rewarded. If you're diligent, you can get rewarded. Because right. that's a promise. And we cannot just rub that out the Bible. It says the faithful will be blessed and the diligent will become rich. That's what it say. Hey, That's a promise. And that is something I say. And I didn't put this here. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, we can work on that. Hey? <laughs> Listen with the, um, the ex, um, I love the expand Bible. It says a lazy person will end up poor. But a hard worker will become rich. Listen here. A slack palm make a person poor. That's what it's saying. A slack palm. Say, but a determined hand. If you determine, you determine. Meaning that. I know I am. Um, I know um, my, this could happen. Th this could work for the poorest person. And we know this stuff. Me. Don't have nothing. I can say, you know what? I could bomb, boom, $20. The purchase a bucket, some rags, on a liquid. Now, now some, of the, some of the gentlemen, they, they steal this stuff. But then when you don't wash the car, now you don't get the money, eh? But anyway, son of a gun, I could get all of this stuff, I could, and guess what? I could clean cars. I could literally get paid every, um, I could get paid every day. I have to wait for my salary, but that person could get paid every day. Yeah. But guess what? He can't be lazy, though. No. no, he can't be lazy. If I know my goal is to get money, to earn money, I have to work. And I can't be lazy about it. Right. And so even when the pandemic came, I know some people cry, but they did not do But other people had jobs. Yeah. So if one person could find a job, that means another person could find a job. Yeah. Just wait for the poorest person. Because you know what? It's God's promise. Yeah, that's all it take. Determine. Man, if I don't eat today, I'm, I'm sure enough I'll eat tomorrow. Because now, if I ask 20 people, 20 people tell me no, I can ask now 21 people yeah. the, the next day. Yeah. That's what you do. And someone can tell you, yeah. Someone ain't gonna say like, what I said this morning, I said, boy, this car dirty, but thank God for that rain. Hey, hey. Like God, but I in. Boy, in the heaven open. Mm. I feel like my grass and all. Oh, yeah, that turned green and all. The wife had to tell me now, you water your plants today. You want to see what God did? <laughs> God open up the heavens. Same scripture, Proverbs 10 14. It says, A lazy hand brings poverty. But a hard working hands bring riches. You all believe that? Yes, man. You're right. Same. Um, that's on Proverbs 10 4. That, that one is the name of God Bible. The name of God. All right. N O G. Right. Nog. <laughs> Amen. This one is the net Bible. The one who is lazy becomes poor, but the one who works diligently becomes wealthy. Mm -hmm. Scripture. Proverbs 12 27. Read New King James. <clears throat> The lazy man does not roast. And I love this one. The lazy man does not roast what he took in hunting. But diligent is a man precious possession. That's the, new, that's the new King James. Now, I didn't understand that scripture. So what I did was I take it out of one scripture, out of one um, translation. And listen to what it said. A lazy person catch no food to cook. <laughs> now, watch that. Yeah, you know what it say? See, a lazy person catch no food to cook. Now, watch what the... The, um, the living Bible say, but the diligent man make good use of everything he finds. That's what a diligent person does. So, so if I cannot, um, I can wash cars today. So if something else in season, like the gentleman we all talk about, who sell everything in season, yeah, you sell. That's what you do. Now listen here. They diligent enough to sell stuff. I'm not going to purchase stuff from them. That guy who got that fruit. I can say where the street is beyond. But all those fruit, 
He for too dirty. I feel like he stomp on those things. I'm not eating fruit from them. Their parents now. The, hey, if you're cleaning my car, that's different. You can look like that. But if you're selling food, no, 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 no. But they sell all sorts of stuff. They sell cane. Tom Brennan season, they sell these stuff. So what they did, they make use. Say, but the diligent man make good use of everything he finds. That's what he did. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. He could clean my car, but I ain't eating fruit from you. Amen? The message. A lazy life is an empty life. Wow. Early to rise, get the job done. That's true, eh? Yeah. I read that again. A lazy life yeah. is an empty life. Yeah. But an early to rise, get the job done. A early to rise, get the job done. Now, we're going to make us diligent. Now, we're hearing this. But now we're going to put them to action. How are we going to put it to action? We can't be afraid to work. No, you know, I even use this term, that lazy. Some must be think lazy, because some must could work now. Mm -hmm. Work, physically work. Yes, sir. But our thinking lazy. We get that, and, and, and I see it. Not with you all, <laughs> not with me, not you all. I see it because we'll be busy on the phone. The moment when we're supposed to be thinking how to become wealthy, how to become diligent to become wealthy. You see? So, and, and, and we just do things. We, we just do things. We come and we just, okay, we relax now. You remember I tell you about the eight hours? Eight hours to sleep, eight hours to wait, and then what you can do with the next eight hours? That eight hours is a lot. That's the time for you. What you will do with it. I some of us don't sleep no eight hours. Some of us sleep 16 hours, say. <laughs> but, some of us do, um, but think about it now. We, um, you have this, eight, this, this, this extra eight hours. What could we do with that? Even if we go to school, we could take two hours out of that eight hours. We still got six hours. Yeah. And do what we're supposed to do. What could make us diligent, become diligent, become faithful, and become blessed, become wealthy? That's what we could do. I can't tell you all what to do. You all know what you all could do. That's right. Next, the uh, a lazy life is an empty life. But <laughs> early to rise, get the job done. Listen to this one, the Expand Bible. The lazy catch no food to cook, but a hard worker will have great wealth. Pastor Valium, meditate on this. How could I become a hard worker? How could I become a diligent worker? How? I, um, Walmart miss me, you know. Well, I, I, I know some of these shell things um, straighten out. I, I know Walmart this me. Hey, I was with you at the, um, I was straightening up the shell. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't look right, man. It just didn't look right. <laughs> Sometimes you, 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 you see the people face and all, like, I'm only doing this for the money. I don't really like it. Yeah, the, it, yeah, you can see the expression, you know, and then, I, like, I started to see it now because my man, I went there the last time. Some of them, they look at they there, so they won't be there. But I'm doing it for the salary, you know? And some have other things they're doing because some in school, so they want the extra money and so forth. The lazy catch, no food to cook. But the hard worker will have great wealth. Proverbs 21.5. You all know this one. It said, the plants of the diligent lead surely to plenty. To plenty. Yes, sir. I know about you, but plenty sound good. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm just talking about you being diligent 
You have to expect wealth. You have to expect plenty. You have to expect a lot. You got to be diligent in this man. But I think some of us just seem diligent. Some of us just don't want to work. Some of us think, some of us think, you know, when we was younger, a duffel bag yeah. is going to fall right in the front of us. Or a bag of money. But that ain't going to happen. And the chances of that happen is what? <laughs> I know, eh? And by nature's even saying that. It's amazing, too. I was thinking about um, Israel. I was on my job. And I was thinking, I said, I already made over a million dollars for being working to that company for years. And guess what? Never got 10%. Never. I see some of you are looking at me so strange, but I never got it. I talk about in commission now. Never got it. But made over a million dollars. Yeah. And then when Bishop, when Bishop preached that on him, be watering another man feel. Yeah. yeah. So what you going to do now? And it's so much I could say. I just don't want to say. But um, I actually said today, Lexi, I said today, I, I was talking to someone and I said today, I said, you know what? This just might be my last year here, you know. I said that. And I meant that. Keep watering another man. Um, now, if you all settle for your all job, that's good. But I said that. I said, you know what? I tired watering, you know. Um, I remember um, even on the job, um, they built a gazebo. Are you saying that right? For us to eat lunch. Yeah. Okay, but before it was a gazebo, right? We thought um, the boss was building that for his boat. <laughs> <laughs> the boat was back in the yard. You know, so we say, my God. Man, build a, <laughs> build a, a what you call a, a hanger <laughs> for Evo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, 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 but you help people. And I guess the best they could tell you is I give you a salary. Thank you for your service. Hmm. But I can be diligent this year. I don't find out what the diligent hand could do. And I find out what a blast what could happen to a blessed person. Oh boy, I'm on my way. Now I don't know if you all want to jump on this train with me. But listen here, that's what I can have to do. We can give. Oh, we can give now. We can give. We know what happened to when a person give. So so, so see, we gotta meditate on these promises. We have to. I learn about the diligent man, and when I get that, and I have to meditate on that. We, my lunchtime, instead of doing stuff, hey, doing stuff idle like eating, now I can meditate on this. <laughs> meditate on this stuff. You know, I, I, I just think, you know, boy God, how you can do this? Reveal some stuff to me. Open up my spiritual eye. Let me, let me see how you can do this. And then once you get into that word, once you get into that word, you can have to give now. Now, now this ain't all my um, on, but you have to. You can't be tight. No. We don't know that. You can't have a slack on. No. But at the same time, too, you can't be tight. No. You can't be tight. Right. You got to give <laughs> into the work of the Lord. You have to. Yeah. yeah. You can't be tight. And God can reveal some of your heart. Let me tell you how we, listen, we there have this friend, I'll never forget it. A mom passed away. And she got over 100,000, blah, blah. So, you know, so she couldn't wait to see me. Rev, do I have to pay tithes on her? I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> do I have to pay tithes on the 100, whatever, I can't remember how much it was, 100 or something. And, 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 and she did the figure too. I think over. That'll be over a thousand dollars, right? Ten thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. She said a ten thousand. I hear her say it under her breath. Excuse the pardon. She said, "With mother flip." That's what she said. 
That's too much money. See, I'm telling you. Some of us, right. You giving 10,000, you still have whatever amount you have. That only 10%. So some of us now, God have to deal with our heart. When it comes down to money, we take. You still have 90%, man. Yeah, you have 90%. I know she said, boy, I really wish she wasn't here. <laughs> That them, yeah, that's what you, but you tied that. She like that she yeah, yeah, she know that, she know that, yeah. <laughs> now nah, she could go to another place who don't believe in tithing and all that. No, no, you don't have to do that and, and so forth. But I would want to do that. Yeah. Oh, who yeah. to give this to? Oh. Yeah. oh, that money will just blow away. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that money will just blow away. Yeah. I can tell you some horror story about that, but then that ain't, no, that's, a, that's for another time. I know y'all like story. I like to hear people's story. You only get that one. But you have to, have, you can't be tight. Now you just, you can't be tight. We ain't gonna be tight. You over there? You wait? Can't see your eyes, buddy. Okay. She you know what you had. The New Living Translation. The plants of doors. The plans of those who do their best lead only to having all they need. But all who are in a hurry come only to want. If you're in a hurry, you come only to want. But, but, but we have to. I like how they use the word plan. We need a plan. Amen. Bishop Bob is talking about that. We need a plan. Amen. How we can get from point A. That's right. How we can get the point A from point A to point B. How we can get there. So, so you need a plan. Yes, sir. Now, some of our mind too noisy. They, they, they're just noisy. How are we going to do this? It just so happened like um, Sunday. Me, me, me and Natius was out and we stopped somewhere, you know. Uh, I, I, and we found somebody who was there just thinking. You know? That's what you do. So you, 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 you go to, a, I think, a secluded place. I think I could use that word. And then, you know, you ease. Yeah, just get your thoughts together. You ease and you start, you know what? If I'm in a situation, how am I going to get out? But we too busy. We too busy for the wrong things. You go to a success seminar, you can have to pay the bucks for somebody to tell you this. Yeah. Which and you can get this for free. Yeah. Nobody can motivate you, only you. Yeah. For you to become diligent, that come, that start with you. So you don't have to go to a seminar for someone. Now, if you're going to a seminar now to start thinking out of the box now, you know, because iron's still sharp and iron. Yeah. But guess what? No one can motivate you, only you can do that. For you to become diligent, you have to do that. And you make up your mind, I need a plan, so how I can get from here. I remember, I, um, I tell them, um, I tell someone when Bishop was talking about the car, what you needed for a car. You see the, the, the plan, what he put down? Yeah, so if you need a car, you do that plan and you say, you know what? If I'm going to be diligent, I put in this amount here, and I'm not moving that. I'm not, I don't care what happened. Things happen. Amen. But you know what? I'm making up my mind. If I really want that car bad enough, I don't even like to say that. But if you really want that car, you could get that car. You just need a plan. Amen. You need a plan. And don't have this, um, this notion that I need. If you need, go to God. Don't go to people. I don't like to see needy people. I, I have um, some friends who bless and guess, but I don't even hardly see them. Because I don't want them to think I come around them for some No, I just work. Amen. But you need a plan. 
And God will use people, not that you have this sorrowful look on your face like, I need some money. No. <laughs> Boy, I don't like to see that. Yeah. Yeah, trying to manipulate you, right? Work on your plan. I heard Pastor, I heard Pastor Randy said, you have to think increase. So how, what you can do to start thinking this? You have to start reading um, books. Yeah. Um, um, the book on diligent. Bishop talk about um, um, the, money, um, the, the money matter. You, 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 you get books. So, so, so here it is now. That, that, um, you're thinking now. You, you're thinking changing. That wheel finally turning. Yeah. But you're going to have to do it. Yes, sir. That's what faith is. It's an act. Yes, sir. So what I'm going to do now? Yeah. I'm going to act this thing out. I need to act this thing out. So you, you, you get your plan. Now how I can do this? How I can do that? Minister mm -hmm. Lisa, I can't wait to show you my journal. I want to finish first. Just to show you what all stuff I have in that. Now, I've got two journal. But be busy doing nothing. When you could be doing your plan in the eight hours which you have, you could take two hours over that eight hours and work your plan. But be busy. Just busy doing nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Listen to this message translation. Same scripture that's um, Proverbs 21 5. Careful planning put you ahead oh, in the long run. Careful planning put you ahead in the long run. Hurry on. Scurry put you further behind. Which translation? That's message. Good planning, this the New Living Translation. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcut leads to poverty. Now, I wanted to get to this. When be diligent, what all be diligent in? Be diligent in our work. We need to be diligent too, as well, um, the Lord's house. Not just the Lord's house, um, God. Because we could be busy too. Doing the work of the Lord, but not busy for God. And listen to this. Bishop, listen here. Hebrews 11, 6. Yes, sir. I can read that, and then I can give you the Rick Rana version. Reading. Yes, sir. <laughs> it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder for them that who? Diligently seek him. We're seeking a lot of stuff, but are we seeking God? The one who have all the stuff. Oh, glory. Think about it oh, now. Glory. The one who have all the stuff. Right. Are we seeking him? Rick Rainer have you. Diligent is required for success in God. Now listen what he say. Diligent is required for any success. The phrase diligent seek in Hebrews 11, 6 is taken from the Greek word, and I said the Greek word, can't pronounce it again, ezetio. <laughs> <laughs> it carry an entire range of power pack meaning. It means to zealously, listen to this, seek for something with all your heart, strength, and might. I seeking after God with all my heart, my strength, and my might. That's how I get everything I. We do that after boyfriend and girlfriend. Amen? Now I can talk on you all. I can talk on me. I know what it means to be late on the phone and Terry sleeping. I be up. But she's sleeping. I say, Terry, Terry. But she's snoring. No, I shouldn't have said that. You don't snore. <laughs> and then I remember she had letters. So if I seeking after her, I still have a mate. You know, you say you were the last time I write one day. <laughs> when I write that book, you can get those letters. <laughs> 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 
But when you seek after these things, right? Then the dinner and the, the jewelry and all of these stuff, right? That's my heart and that's my mind I doing that. And that's natural. Amen? It's natural. See, now you all like stories, but you all, listen, man. You all like stories, boy. Listen. Listen for the nugget. Amen? You all like stories now. I seek after her. Amen? And, 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 and God the prize. Amen? Now what we can do for God? He say, ask. He say, no. They seek. We need this. So, 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 so we have to do this with all our might. Meaning that, listen here. You read the word of God. <laughs> you seek in God here. You read the word of God. You know what? You pray. Yeah. You come to church. Yeah. You do these things. Iron sharpen iron. Amen. You help. You give. <laughs> Amen. You tithe. All of this is seeking after him, you know. Yes, sir. All, that's all what this is. So it ain't something hard that you need to know, like, what exactly I need to do. You get into that word. When the Bible tell me that I'm supposed to love my wife, or my prayer wouldn't be answered if I don't honor her, th th that's God speaking to me, eh? Yeah. And that's what you do. When you're doing your Bible study, when you're reading, that's how you seek after him. You find ways. I learned this on diligent now, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to seek after him with all my might, with all my strength. And listen to this. Finish quoting him now. It means to zealously seek for something with all of one's heart, strength, and might. It presents the picture of one who seeks something so passionately. That's the reason why I use Terry. This, you, you, when we searching for God, we searching for him passionately and determinate and determinedly, and he literally tell he literally exhausts all of his power in his search. Tell you get tired. And you don't get tired. For the clock, you know what I learned about exercising, about running? I'm not a fast distant runner. I'm a long distant runner. And I found out that um, I could run, I could jog. Let me say jog. I could jog, right? For the longest. For the longest. Now, my last lap, I have more energy till I can pass people. So, in other words, I exhausted not just doing this, you know. But now I know that i down to my last lap. That energy just pop out of nowhere. And that's how it's supposed to be with us when we're searching for God. It's never supposed to be like, Okay, you know, sometimes I hear my, when my phone ring four o'clock. You're tired? No. Oh, this is the time when you should because you know when you get up now, it can be a it can be a time now you're fellowshipping with God. The Father. Amen. And and I heard someone say, and I believe them, why is everybody sleeping? Yeah. This is my time to go. So so you might hear mine. Yeah, you all stay sleeping. If it sounds selfish, then it's selfish. Some could do it um, 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 like lunchtime and so forth and all of that. But now here it is. I want to seek God. Yeah. So I want to seek him. And because I want to seek him now, I want, I want to be to the point that I exhausted. Every, my search is just tired now. But some of us, we don't want to do that. We want this easy way out. Nothing easy. Amen? That's what he said now. Because the word Ezekiel portrays such an earnest effect, the idea of being hardworking, attentive, busy, constant, and persistent in one devotion to what he or she is doing is always included. So in other words now, all of this, the hard work, all of this, all of this, all of this is what I'm doing, the getting the burden, all of that, God will have to reward me. Now listen what, um, listen what he said about that same scripture. Because the word Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel portrays such an earnest effect, the idea of being hardworking, authentic, attentive, 
busy, constant, and persistent in one devotion to what he or she is doing is also included. Everything what he does, everything what the person does, everything what they does. Listen to what he said here. This Hebrews 11, 6. God is a rewarder for those who put all of their heart, strength, and might in seeking him. Amen. Those who are so committed in their search that they are willing to exhaust all of their natural power in their search for him. They are the ones who will find what they are seeking. You have to. You have to want this. Amen? This ain't nothing like I have to give you some pills or some adrenaline. No. I make up in my mind. That's a plan. I'm going to make up in my mind to search for God. Amen. To seek him. I think Brother Robert said um, he read he, um, he, um, he read Matthew Mark the gospel. Matthew Mark, Luke, and John on his knees. 30 times. 30 times. That's how you would seek God. He said, um, he said, um, this how this is what God told him. If he really want to see um, um, miracles and stuff in his um, in his meeting, that's what to do. And, and he did it. And he said, go in the scripture and find Jesus. That's what he said. Just go in the scripture and find Jesus. But some of us be just too busy doing nothing. Oh boy. Be lazy. And make our thinking lazy. You know, we work us now, but we think lazy. We think that, okay, I don't do my job for the day. I don't need to do nothing else now. Yeah. I don't need to do nothing else. But that's the time when you do things. A lot of scripture. My cameraman didn't tell me how much time I got there. Okay, good. Second Timothy 2, verse 2. That's the message translation. So, my son, throw yourself into this work for Christ. Pass on what you heard from me. This um, Paul telling Timothy this. The whole congregation saying amen. To reliable leaders. Remember what the word reliable is? Faithful. To reliable leaders who are, oh, the, the word cut off. Uh, oh, what the word is? Oh, my word cut off. Sorry. But to teach others, when going to rough, take it on the chin. That's what he's telling them. With the rest of us. The way Jesus did, a soldier on duty doesn't, doesn't catch up in making deals at the marketplace. He concentrates on carrying out orders. An athlete who refuses to play by the rules will never get anywhere. It's the diligent farmer who gets the produce. Think it over. God will make it plain. It is the ditch. It is the diligent farmer that get the produce. And he say here, if you're in a race, and if you don't follow the rules, you wouldn't pass. So this rule, we have to run this race. We have to do it right. We have to do it right. And if you're not, if you don't have time for God, you're busy doing other things. And some of those things what you're doing, you don't need to do it because I know some of us I am busy. I, I can't do this, and I can't do this. I can't read the word, and I can't do this. You have time. And if you think you don't have time, you're busy doing something else. What really doesn't really matter. Amen? Amen. Faithfulness. You have faithful person is a loyal person. A trustworthy person is a reliable person. Is a loyal person. Be faithful on the man job, but I'll be faithful for God. Be faithful on the man job, I'll be faithful to come to church. Be faithful for God, do we have time to read the Bible? Be faithful for the man, but do we have time to read this word? To search for him diligently, to seek after him. 
And now, what diligent is? Diligent is that person who exhausts all. Let me read it again. God is a rewarder for those who put all of their heart, their strength, and their might in seeking him. That's what God can reward. The person who seek after him. Those who are so committed in their search that they are willing to exhaust all of their natural power in their search for him. They are the ones who will find what they are seeking. Only when you search for God. Only when you be diligent enough. And that's it. Get your plan. Church. JCCMI. Get your plan. And you know what to do? Work it. You might say, but I don't have no money. Get your plan and start working it. Let's don't worry about the money. They can come. But let's start working this plan. You all with me? Amen. You all with me? Yes, sir. I can now see some of you all now, yeah. And God have God faithful. You all think you all faithful? God faithful. He just want to see you start doing something. And it just take faith. You have to act. Amen? Amen, brother. You have to act. We're so glad that you've joined us today for this time in God's Word. And we trust that this Word has been a blessing to you. If you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, dear friend, God loves you. And He wants a relationship with you. He wants you, when you pass from this life, to be able to go to heaven. So if you're not born again, would you repeat this prayer and mean it from your heart? And Jesus Christ will come into your life and will change you and make you a brand new creation. Just say, O oh God in heaven, I come to you in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus died for my sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again. Right now, I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in his precious blood. I thank you for hearing my prayer, for I pray in Jesus' name. And listen, if you prayed that prayer, please write us or email us. The email address is on the screen and let us know. We'd like to know because we'd like to be praying for you as well as communicate with you. Also, if you enjoyed this broadcast, please subscribe to this channel and please hit that like button and hit also the notification button so that whenever we're on again, you'd be notified. God bless you and have a great day.